Have you ever wondered what the Earth would look like in many years? What creatures will there be or what changes will take place in the ocean? There is a theory that in 200 million years, the Earth will become a single supercontinent and therefore, it will be formed by a single global ocean, being this, the home in which terrifying species and animals will inhabit. The theory was developed by Scottish paleontologist Dougal Dixon, who explained that this supercontinent will be formed due to the movement of the tectonic plates and the union of all continents. This whole theory of Dougal Dixon is based on the theory of continental drift, proposed by the German Alfred Wegener in 1912. According to this theory, in the remote past, the present continents of the Earth were united and formed a supercontinent called Pangaea. Wegener based this argument on several observations. The main one was the shape of the continents and how they fit into each side of the Atlantic Ocean, especially South America and Africa. He also took as proof that, in the different continents, despite being separated, there were mountain ranges with the same age and types of rocks, proof, according to him, that they have been united. Other tests were the types of weather that prevailed on the continents many years ago and which resemble each other, as well as the fact that they found fossils of the same species on different continents separated by oceans, which they could not have crossed. With all this data, Wegener affirmed that it was the slow and continuous displacement of the continental masses, the reason why the supercontinent Pangaea separated, leaving the present shape of the continents. In his theory, Dixon assumes that, just as these continents were separated, in the distant future they will be reunited, forming a new supercontinent. This new land will suffer great changes, especially in the ecosystem, which will inevitably lead to the extinction of humankind. Domestic animals and large mammals will also become extinct. However, the change will give rise to a new evolutionary process, with new species emerging and becoming adapted. While the plagues and parasites that man has failed to eradicate will abound, but now we are heading for the place least explored by man today, the ocean. What will happen to our ocean in the future? For the oceans, as all the continental masses are grouped into a single supercontinent, all the seas of the world will also form a single superocean. This global ocean will be immense, so much that its center will be separated from any land space by 16,000 kilometers, and its conditions will be very variable. In addition, as a result of the greenhouse gases that the planet has suffered for millions of years, it will be severely damaged. The blockage of sunlight caused by volcanic dust and acid rain produced by the gases will kill most of life in the surface waters. Only a few species that have managed to adapt and found refuge in the great depths will survive. Most of the animals that will inhabit this global ocean will be terrifying. Some of them are the following. The Silver Swimmer These are crab larvae that will stop their development and be able to reproduce while they're in the juvenile form. This will give rise to a great variety of silver swimmers, making it the most abundant form of life in the seas. The most common species will have as a characteristic a head and body covered by light armor, bristly legs, and antennae that protrude below. It will be driven through the water thanks to a segmented tail. Some will be teardrop shaped and others the size of the ancient whales. The latter will sail slowly and feed on plankton, while others will be small and worm-like and live like parasites of larger fish. Sharkopath Do you remember the Sharkopath? If not, I recommend you watch the video that we will leave in the description. The Sharkopath is a species of shark that, like its ancestors, managed to survive extinction with a fairly simple lifestyle swimming and eating whatever was in its way. So, it will be the main predator of the global ocean. However, as these waters are not very productive in species, the Sharkopath develop a different survival strategy. When it finds food, it makes bands of light shine on the sides of their bodies to communicate with others of their kind. That signal is picked up and repeated by others of their kind. Then they all return home with whatever food they find. The Rainbow Squid 
At 66 feet long, it is the largest animal in the ocean. It also has tentacles of equal length. It is a ferocious predator with a jaw capable of tearing any prey to pieces. Of its ancestors, it has the characteristic of changing color. It can also use sorting patterns, some of which can mimic the light of the waves, to crawl towards the prey. This video was based on Dougal Dixon's book, The Future is Wild. So, if you want to know more about this subject, I recommend you to check the book. The link is in the description of the video.